All right, what's going on, guys? I am bringing you a 113 to 8 triple nuclear with 29,000 score on Nuketown. Capture the flag. And uh, if you were wondering what that screenshot was before the video started, that's just showing that I'm number one um, in the world weekly, at least for uh, Capture the Flag. I had a couple like subscribers and stuff notice that, and they uh, asked me about it. And uh, yes, this is why I'm number one. <laughs> so pretty much, Nuketown Capture the Flag was uh, it's recently brought into the game because, as you guys probably already know. With that recent patch, I don't know, maybe less than a month ago, whatever, whenever they uh, fixed some of the hardpoint stuff, it will actually messed up the hardpoint spawns, changed some of the hardpoint locations or whatever, and uh, took out hardcore capture the flag and whatever. They uh, also added in Nuketown to every single playlist, except for multi-team, I'm pretty sure it's in everything else. So, because of that, it's in capture the flag, so, obviously... I'm going to be spawn trapping on it, but uh, before I get into all that, um, if we could try to hit 500 likes for this video, that would be much appreciated. It is 29,000 score and a triple nuclear, so that's pretty cool, and uh, I'll tell you what, as soon as this video hits 500 likes, I will get out a tutorial for you guys if uh, you want to go ahead and try it or whatever, and uh, yeah, so that's how that's going to go down, so just... Leave a like rating if you enjoyed, and uh, any questions and stuff, and I'll answer them. But, yeah, so this is uh, Nuketown Capture Flag. Basically, we actually used to do Nuketown in the, when the game first came out in the beginning. And uh, it's kind of the reason that we even started doing Hardcore Capture the Flag on Hijacked, you know. That was like a huge thing for me. But, basically what happened was, when the game first came out, we realized that Demolition was kind of a fail. So, we said, you know... Let's try Capture the Flag, because we had trapped Nuketown Capture the Flag in Black Ops 1, and uh, we kind of already knew what to do, so we're like, alright, let me see if it's the same in Black Ops 2, and it pretty much is. So, we started trapping it in Black Ops 2 in the beginning, but what would happen is, we did like three games of it, I remember it, I remember it pretty clearly. Um, what happened was, it was in the Nuketown only playlist, so that the people we would play were all fairly decent players they were tryhards and uh, it was really annoying so we would take like all these deaths trying to get them into the trap and we'd finally get them into the trap and then they would all leave and it would just be enemies forfeiting and that was especially prominent in the beginning of the game because the servers weren't as good as they are now the servers still aren't very good but in the beginning of the game it was even worse pretty much every game was just enemies forfeiting en enemies forfeiting enemies forfeiting so we said, you know what, forget Nuketown, because we weren't finding any noobs in there. And uh, I said, you know, I pretty much came up with the plan that we need to try Hijacked, because that's probably the next smallest map. And uh, there you go, we started doing Hijack Capture the Flag, and that led to Hardcore Capture the Flag. And you guys already know what happened when that happened. So, we already knew the spawns for Nuketown, and, uh, but obviously Hardcore Hijack Capture the Flag was a lot better. So we went ahead and did that instead. But now that that obviously isn't an option anymore, we came back to Nuketown CTF, and uh, it's fun. It's just it's a change of pace. Um, something different, man. I just It gets boring doing the same thing, like standoff demo or Nuketown demo over and over again. And, uh, you know, Nuketown CTF, it's something different. And the benefits of it is just that you get a lot more score. Like, as you can see in this gameplay, I have the flag, so I get 200 every time I kill someone. And I'm also running non-lethal, so, you know, that's extra score right there. And uh, pretty much everyone's running non-lethals, I think, on our team. A few kill streaks here and there, but not too much. And uh, in this gameplay, I get 29,000 score. I think my weekly score per minute, if you go back to that screenshot, was 1,300-something. So, that's like an insane score per minute. And, uh, you know, it's it's just fun, something different. And another thing is, you guys noticed that um, I was using the thermal, and now I'm using the millimeter scanner. <laughs> There's a reason I'm using these ugly-ass sites. And um, that's just because um, I'm just trying to get the challenges for them because, to get the titles or whatever. Because, I don't know, it's just like a pet peeve of mine. I want to try to get all the titles and everything. So, uh, I use these sites, and uh, you have to get like 500 kills, I believe, with all of them. So, like, ACOG, um, the EOTech, EDTech, I don't know, whatever. Um, you know, hybrid, all those sites. Uh, this is pretty, like, the easiest way to do it, for me at least, because I don't like any of the way those sites look, and I'm never going to use them online or anything, so 
Uh, I can easy get like um, like a hundred gun kills with each site in one game, so like five games I have the title. So that's why I am using these really weird like class setups, I guess. Uh, I definitely don't recommend any of these or anything like that. But I will break down the way that CTF works in this game. Um, you have two five-minute rounds, and what we do is we don't capture a flag in the first two rounds. And what that does is that makes that forces the game to add in a, an additional two rounds because the way overtime works in uh, Black Ops 2 is you get five minutes to capture one flag, and say you capture it in three minutes, and then the other team gets three minutes to try to beat your time to capture their flag or whatever. So that's pretty much how it works. So what we do is we don't capture the first two rounds. Then third round, I'll cap the flag in like the last ten seconds. And then fourth round, I don't capture again, and we win the game. So that just extends it out, try to get as much score as possible, as much kills as possible, and all that type of stuff. And uh, I think that's pretty much all I need to say. The only difference between this and hardcore is that in hardcore, you actually get 10 minutes. Each round is 10 minutes. In core, it's only 5 minutes. I don't know why that is. But uh, if we got 10 minutes, that would be pretty cool. I would get 30,000 score every game. And uh, I don't know, it'd be pretty cool. Probably could get, let's uh, probably get 300 plus if it was 10 minutes. But, you know, it is what it is. What can you do? And uh, make do with what we have. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. 113 to 8. Nuketown CTF Spawn Trap. Um, be sure to leave a like rating as soon as this hits 500. I will post up a tutorial for you guys if you're interested. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, triple nuclear. I think this is actually the first triple nuclear I've posted. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day and peace out. Also, I do show the medals if you. I know you guys care about that, so I showed the medals. So yeah, peace out.